I came to synagogue church two weeks ago where I was delivered from the spirit of snake and spiritual wife. Through this spirit, I was led into the internet where I started, you know, reading about this Illuminati, Antichrist, you know, the greatest powers in this world. I started reading and through there I learned, I had, I learned a lot about how they control the world, how they can control human beings physically and spiritually. The things that I love the first one, the number one thing is I like, I like sex because it's, that is where I derive my pleasure a lot. It's like sex is something that if I don't do it in a day, I feel like I'm, I'm crazy because the urge in me is very, very strong. Sometimes because of the urge, I have porn in my laptop. I can have sex you know, with myself just to release that urge in me. Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. This was a deliverance that happened in the mass prayer here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. And the young man in question who received his deliverance is here today to share his testimony and also his confession. So viewers around the world, those present here, let's listen attentively. We believe there are several lessons that can be learned from his experience as we give all the glory to God and shame the devil. Brother, you're welcome. Please introduce yourself to us. Tell us your name and where you're from. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is Emmanuel Dixon. I'm from Bayasa State, Nigeria. My mother is from Nembe, while my father is from Ijo, 
anybody that is from Bayasa State will know these places. I came to Synagogue Church two weeks ago where I was delivered from the spirit of snake and spiritual wife. You know, in my early stage, I stayed with my mom because I grew up as a child. I didn't see my mom and my dad as husband and wife. So I grew up with my mom. So around eight, seven, eight years, I met a girl that was staying close to me in okay, the same but before before going ahead brother you mentioned that you were brought up in a certain area that is very well known can you just tell us more about that area why is it so well known and what are the people there doing in 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 my mother's place Nembe, there in those days people worship idols anybody that is from there we know that people there worship idols so that is how it, it was then. Yeah, precisely the worship snake. So as a child, when I around eight, I came in contact with a girl that was staying close to me. We are, it's like we are staying in the same compound. The late, the girl, the young girl, she was older than me. So my mother tr went to work that evening. She went to fishing. While I was staying with my younger ones, the lady came to me that she wanted to sleep with me and that I must come with her to her house and I followed her. So when I followed her, because she was older than me, so she, she kind of forced me, I don't have a choice because she was older than me. So I did whatever she told me. I did everything that she asked me. So after I finished everything, the night I saw myself in a big ocean where I was alone. There was no one, I was just swimming in the ocean. I swim, I swim until at the end of the day, I woke up and that is how it all started. From there, I started having this spirit of snake. Every time the snake spirit, it, the, the, the lady also come to me in my dream. I, whenever I, I sleep, I saw myself in the, in, the, in, the, in the ocean, swimming like a snake, doing all sorts of things in the spiritual world. And then physically, a day when a snake, a very big python, came to me when I was sleeping. The python just walked past me. It walked past me, but I thought maybe it was like maybe water or something that touches me because it was cold. So when I wake up, I saw this, the, 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 the tail of the snake. The snake just run past. I Physi saw the physically, tail. you saw the snake. Physically, I saw the snake. But you know, I didn't say anything. I just keep, I, did, I didn't tell anyone. No one knows about it. I didn't spoke about it. I just grow just like that. I, I just live just like that with it. So from there, I, I started possessing this spirit of lust, spirit of anger, spirit of stealing. I grew up just like that. And my mother, she doesn't know. I don't know, maybe she know, I don't know, but she doesn't know that I was growing up with those kind of, but she saw me sometimes, I steal and she beat me all that. So that is how I grew up at a point where I told her I want to meet my, I want to come to my father's side, which is because she and my father are not together. So she brought me to my father's side. Even when I came to my father's side, this spirit followed me to my father's place where my brothers, all of them, they know that I, I was, I was, whenever I'm angry, extremely angry, and then I still, I do all sorts of things. So these spirits possessed me. So there was a time in my dream, I came in contact with this particular python that I saw physically, very big one. So I fought with him. When I fought with him in the dream, I thought maybe I've killed the python, but not knowing that the python came into my body. Since then, I move like a python. Whenever I'm in my dream, I'm a python. I can travel from here to a very long distance with my stomach. I will just creep on the ground, just like that. And in the dream, what kind of activities would you see yourself carrying out in that form of a python, a snake, and destructive activities? In the dream, most of the time, I fight with people a lot. People, I don't know the, I don't know the faces of the because I, can't, I, I don't know their faces, but I fight a lot. I fight with people, 
sometimes when someone offends me maybe if in the physical maybe if you are more powerful than me i will just keep quiet although i'm angry but i will just put the anger in me and then within me i believe that maybe i'll see in the dream then we'll fight there so most of the time i fight with people and i'm always defeating okay so the same person physically that offends you spiritually you would see yourself as a snake go and fight and attack that person in the dream yeah but most of the time i'm my normal self i will see myself mm -hmm. but the power in me that spirit will, will i will do according to the way the spirit will lead me okay so we can understand from what our brother is saying that right from a young age this spirit of snake was within him now brother you said it specifically led you to a spirit of lust anger stealing can you just explain the area of lust how severe this was the spirit of lust i lost if i any girl that i see that i like i lost after that girl i lost after her and i sleep with any girl that had just come my way I sleep with them just like that some of them if I couldn't be able to sleep with them maybe something happened in the process maybe we have a fight or we don't agree together in the spiritual realm I know that I was definitely see their pictures in my that picture will come like a mirror to me where I will see their, you know their nakedness and then from there yeah I can sleep with them through there okay now just give us an example these girls that you sleep with what what do you observe happens to their life afterwards most most of them i don't communicate personally to them and after that some of them i don't see them so i can't i don't know but the ones that i dated the one that i like i we we go into a relation a kind of relationship they they have depression they don't do well in the academic that is they 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 confused they tell me they love me like they fall in love seriously like sometimes I don't even know the kind of love they have for me because I don't understand the kind of love so that is the kind of things that they are passing they pass through okay so you mean to say brother that uh, these ladies that you sleep with because of the power that was within you as a snake at the end of the day their lives would end up facing confusion yeah. destruction academic challenges everything yeah yeah okay now tell us also uh how this spirit pushed you to start desiring and uh, to acquire more powers just explain that area um in 2012 you know as a as, as a child when i grew up at a point you know i was intimidated by so many of my age mates sometimes people who have who are more bigger than me who have power sometimes people the the people who, who who have maybe finances that they can do whatever they want so most of the time when they intimidate it pains me a lot it pains me to a point where i don't know what to do so the only way i can be able to fight back is through the spirit through what the power in me because the power in me is always pushing me to an extent where i want to fight i want to destroy so at a point because of the intimidation i i want to acquire power which is physically if you come to me physically i can fight you physically destroy everything about you that kind of mind came into me a very strong mind that directs me that this is what and what you will do so in 2012 i got an admission into a university in south africa so when i went there through this spirit i was led into the internet where i started you know reading about this illuminati antichrist you know the greatest powers in this world i started reading and through there i learned i had i learned a lot about how they control the world how they can control human beings physically and spiritually so i learned a lot so i was trying to go deep deep so that i know that yeah my eyes are open physically and spiritually so you're saying that this spirit pushed you to start seeking for even more powers and you went on the internet began looking at a lot of things what began happening to your life when you started researching all of these demonic things on the internet when i started searching for these demonic things my life was even worse because i couldn't even cope up with my school anymore i started enjoying instead of me to enjoy reading my books I enjoy reading these things, this Illuminati, Antichrist, those stuff. 
sometimes I can spend four or five hours reading them because that is it, I enjoy reading them. But in my book, I can't even sit down and read for 30 minutes. So it really, really affects me. It gives me confusion, depression. I'm always having headache. So it controls every bit of my life. So then from there, because of the interest I had in reading about these things, I downloaded some of these pictures. The reason why I downloaded these pictures is because after reading them, I want to keep the pictures just to look them like I downloaded in my laptop a lot of them but I deleted some of them after when I was delivered and I went back to my hotel room I downloaded so many of them I started enjoying looking at these pictures because if I look at them that is where I get my comfort I enjoy like even if I was angry if I go back to my room I look at these pictures I'm okay I just relax Okay, so the demonic images you're seeing what were you, on, the, on the board, you actually enjoyed looking at them. You're the spirit within you derived pleasure in looking and, and researching all of these things. Yeah. Okay, so tell us, apart from academically how this has affected you, how, how did this affect you spiritually in terms of things of God, Christian things, when you began to read about all of these things and have these images on your computer, your phone, how did this really affect you? Spiritually, I was zero percent. I was zero, zero percent because I, I was going to church because usually I sing in church. But the moment I started go, uh, reading about this stuff, keeping the pictures in my house, in my laptop, I stopped going to church. I don't even want to hear anything about church. It taunts me against church. Sometimes my friends in church, they will call me, the people that we usually go to church together, they will go to church, and then they will call me, why don't you want to go to church? I will give them excuses, unnecessary excuses, which they too, they find it difficult to, and to, to accept, but because of the pleasure in me, I don't even want to go to church, I don't even want to hear any, even if I try to go to church, I will feel bored. I don't spend, two, two hours is even enough, it's too much for me to spend in the church. Yeah. So you completely lost interest in the things of God because of all of this. What, what did you now have interest in? What were the things that you were now doing? The things that I love the first one, the number one thing is I like I like sex because it's that is where I drive my pleasure a lot. It's like sex is something that if I don't do it in a day, I feel like I'm I'm crazy because the urge in me is very very strong. Sometimes because of the urge I have porn in my laptop, I can have sex you know, with myself just to release that urge in me. And then the other thing is it makes me to be confused. I'm lost always every time I don't know what I'm doing. I always get angry on small things can make me to be angry then I can fight yeah, just like that. Okay, so we're just asking these questions so that all of us can learn some lessons, uh, especially this area of what our brother went on the internet to begin to look at, um, not knowing it would have such a negative spiritual effect on him and completely disconnect him from anything uh, Christian or anything or things of God, rather pushed him to areas of lust, going out with different women. Um, and brother, you, you mentioned especially that this lust was so strong you couldn't control it. I mean, how has this affected uh, you in terms of, of, of relationships that you would normally keep? Relationship, I don't, I don't date for long. Most of my, most of my relationship is like it's two months. Even two months is even too much. If I meet a woman two, two, three, three, two, three times, I've lost interest from that woman. I want another woman. So that led me to two pregnancy where I got a, pre a woman who gave birth to a child here in Nigeria and one in South Africa because of the rate at which I want the women and most of this, and really I get the women because whenever I want them, they come and some of them, they don't. Okay, so tell us, we thank God that you finally came to the Synagogue Church for Nations two weeks ago. What, what, describe exactly what happened when you came, or, or before then, what, where had you been to try and seek for a solution before you came here? Um, 
let me start with when I was with my with my mom. My mom sometimes used to take us to all these prophet, uh, all these prophets. I don't. I won't mention names because I don't know their names. She usually take us to some churches, prophets. But those prophets, they don't see. They don't. They can. They pretend to be seen, but within me, the spirit inside me is always telling me this guy is fake. He can't do anything. So I'm not afraid. I'm not scared of them. Even if they pray from now to heaven, I will just look at you. Some, because even when I go to church, I don't usually close my eyes. Sometimes they'll busy close their eyes praying. I'll open my eyes and look at you while you are praying. Because the spirit inside me is powerful. Okay, so other places you went to that you were taken to for deliverance, you realized that the evil spirit within you was more powerful than those places, and that's why you were not delivered. Yeah. So when you came to the synagogue church for nations two weeks ago, just explain what happened at, at that period. You know, before before I came to synagogue church, I was a fan of Prophet T. B. Joshua. I like to I like to listen to him. I like to watch him a lot. Mostly, I follow him on. I like I have him on. Okay. My... So two weeks ago, you came and we saw during the mass prayer what what began happening. Just you. Tell us, explain okay. to us what happened at that moment. Okay. Two weeks ago, when I when I came to the church, I was sitting at that end in there, that the other side. So when the man of God came in, to, I was the main reason why I came to the church just to see the man of God because I, yeah, I've been seeing him on tw- on, ne- on on internet, just YouTube. That is where I normally watch him and follow him up. So I, when I came back to Nigeria, I said, let me come and see him like face to face just to see his picture like physically so when i came i was sitting at that side and then he walked past me where i was sitting is where he walked past and i was like oh this is a man of god okay then from there he came to the altar i preached and so when he started the prayer i was outside then i came in for the prayer so the moment i came in there i just came in and not even up to 10 minutes I saw something like a light just came into my heart, into my chest. And then when it came into my chest, I couldn't control myself. And there were two ladies sitting next to me. I look at those, I look at those ladies, they were closing their eyes. Because normally when people pray, I don't close my eyes. I just open my eyes and look. So I was looking at them while they were praying. I just fold my hands and look. So when the light came into my heart, I couldn't control myself. I tried to control so that... I, my mind was that let me not be disgraced the spirit in me is telling me that you can't disgrace me in this place so i controlled myself even the thing is pushing me i don't i try to hold myself but the thing said no you can't you must be exposed so my hands started vibrating my hands started vibrating like very very strong so when i look at this lady they close their eyes and then there were ushers standing there. So I was just calculating for the ushers to leave so I can run away from this church. So the moment the ushers, they take a step, and then I look at them, two of them, they left Then The moment I'm about to run, then I just fell on the ground, started creeping like a snake. And then I was not shouting. I just kept quiet. The only thing I saw is they started dragging me, and I'm like, no, no, leave me, leave. Before you know, that is where I, I lose control. I don't know what was happening. What I, was on that, what I was going through, deliverance or whatever, I don't know. Okay. Now, we saw a time came where you approached Prophet T.B. Joshua. The spirit within even said you come to try him, to challenge him. What, what was happening at that moment? That moment, the spirit in me was angry, like extremely angry. At a point where I feel like fighting. That was why I was, that was why I was struggling with those, I was struggling with those men so that they can leave me, so I can fight. But when I approached the man, the moment when I was coming, when he called me, when I was coming, something like a very like a, a bright light, very shiny light that I, I can't, that is why I don't even look up. I try to look up, I can't because the light was too much. It was uncontrollable. So when he called me when I was coming, because of the light, I stopped and he keep on calling me, he said, come. I stopped, he keep on calling me, come. So when I came to, so me, after when I came close to him, there is a spirit that left me, but the, there is another spirit in me that is telling him to stand up and fight. You must fight this man in this place. So when I stand up, the power in me was too much. So the moment he came close to me, I, I've, already, I'm, I've already weak. The power in me was 
completely destroyed. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So you mean to say as that evil spirit that was within you was moving you like a snake towards the prophet, attempting to attack him, at that moment when you looked at him, what, what did you see? I see a very... I have never seen that kind of light in my life. I can't lie to you. I have never. And I don't think that kind of life, that kind of light exists. Because it's a light that you can never explain, can never describe it. It was too much that you cannot even look at him. The man of God is extremely powerful. So you said that you've been to so many places seeking for deliverance before. Has this kind of experience, have you ever had this kind of experience before? I've lived with this spirit for 20 something years. I've never experienced that kind of, I have never experienced it before, 20 something years. Because I'm 28 now. So I have never experienced this kind of thing before. Well, let's give glory to God. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We thank God for our brother's deliverance from that spirit of snake. And we thank Jesus Christ that here he is today as a living testimony. So brother, what uh, can you say about your life after your deliverance? What are the changes you've immediately seen? First, you know, when I sleep, usually before, before I came here, whenever I sleep, I saw myself every time I go to bed. The only, way, the only area I saw, see myself is in the, in the sea moving like a snake. If I'm in the bush, I move like different kinds of animals. But after the deliverance, when I went back, I sleep completely with that. That night, it was like I'm in heaven because I sleep like a baby. I don't dream, no nothing. And then the second thing is that I lost after women. When I mean, you know, when somebody lost, the moment you see a woman walking past you, you look at that woman from A to Z. You look at her, if she starts from here, she will walk a 10 miles, you look at her. I completely lost that loss in me. I lost it completely. And then the third thing is the urge. The urge, <laughs> you know, when the urge comes, I can do anything at that point in time. But after the deliverance, glory be to God. I can't find it anymore. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. And brother, you said before as well, you always had such desire, uh, interest in looking at these kind of demonic images, pictures, researching these things. What can you say about that after your deliverance? Like before I said, I, I said something. I said when I went back to my hotel room, I deleted a lot of these pictures. You know, I, I deleted Every, even the porn, I was having 20 something pornography videos in my laptop. 20 something that I watch from one to another, from one to another to seek my pleasure. But the moment I, I went to my room, the first thing that came into my mind to delete all these things. And I completely delete them all. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. And we believe now you are delivered, you're in a position to really advise people. Uh, especially, we want you to really advise people on this area of what people are searching for online, on the internet, certain images they download. You're, you're a living example of someone that has looked at all of these things and seen such a negative effect in your life. What do you really want to advise young people, especially those that regularly go online? Um, my advice is, like, to my fellow youth, I would advise them that they must be careful. When you are going to the internet, have a purpose. Go, just have a purpose while you are going to the internet. When I mean a purpose, I don't mean a bad intention. Don't go there because you want to go and, you want to go and start looking at this thing because these things will not help you. They will never take you to anywhere. They will never promote anything. They will never help you in any area of your life. Because the moment you started going to net, uh, into internet, started looking at pictures like this, it would destroy you completely. It would damage everything about your life. It would turn you against your family, against God, against anything that you've worked for in this life. So my, my advice is, please, 
don't go to internet and start looking at these pictures start downloading things concerning illuminati antichrist and all that because they will never help you they will destroy you so when you are going to internet have a reasons why you're going there and the reasons must be a genuine reasons godly reasons go there if you are going there to research about book about your studies just go there and research and just leave the internet don't waste your time on this thing because these things are waste they will never happen anyway in this life okay now we want to find out as well when you began looking at these images before did you begin to see those same images appear to you spiritually just to explain that yeah of course i see i see these images every every night that i sleep i see them there was a time i dream and then i saw myself in a in a big fire in a very big fire where a lot of people were inside i don't identify the people that were inside but there were a lot of people so when i went close to the to the to the fire like the fire, i was like 10 to 5 miles away from the fire but because of the heat the hotness of the fire couldn't be to go close and start identifying people so i was scared to be burnt so that is why I just ran away from there. Then I came back to to, to okay, life. And in that fire, you saw the same images. Yeah, I saw the same images. I I saw the same images like these images that you're seeing there. I saw them real, like they they, they are like they, like human being. They they in form of human being. So we can we can just understand what he was looking at online actually began appearing to him in the dream and apart from that completely taking his attention away from things of god and diverting it to things of the world so we thank god for your life uh, brother and do you have any other words of advice yeah the other advice i'm going to give is to our parents you see like before i started i said something concerning my father and my mother that they didn't stay together that affect me the reason why it affects me is that my mother was she was an idol worshiper so at that point when i was staying with my mom she she took us to so many places some places that i couldn't even identify i couldn't even say because she she was she she took us like in so many places so those things that i saw also affect me and now the reason why she does all those things i don't know maybe because she was not with my father so she was trying to protect us from because then there was a lot of crisis too in our places so and then at the same time she doesn't care if those things those places she was taking us is it will affect our life it will it will tomorrow we bear a bad it will give us a bad name or something like that so even till today, my mother never identified that this is that I have this spirit of snake and spirit of um, uh, spiritual spiritual wife and all that. Even when I came to my father, my father usually see me getting angry, doing all sorts of things. But he never cares to know where those areas are coming from. He never wanted to check why, whether those things are family inheritance or where are they coming from all he knows is that my son is stealing i will beat him and he will beat you the only the next thing you will leave without finding out the solution so all i'm saying that our parents should be should be concerned about their children they must know where and where you take your child to when your child is coming up with a kind of attitude or character don't just conclude by beating Beating will not solve, but pray to God to seek the face of God so that that child will not grow up being spoiled. Thank you. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Well, brother, we thank God for your life. We pray that God will give you the grace to maintain this deliverance by making his word the standard for your life. And we know the best is yet to come in Jesus' name. Amen. Escuchamos el testimonio de este joven que viene de Nigeria, procedente de una familia de idólatras que adoraba ídolos por generaciones. Él estaba sufriendo las terribles consecuencias en su vida. Él soñaba con mundos marinos donde una serpiente pitón venía y le gobernaba. 
él estaba dominado por un espíritu de robo, un espíritu de enfado, un espíritu de serpiente, esposa espiritual y espíritu de lujuria. Había entrado en conexión con el mundo Illuminati a través de Internet, con el mundo de religiones satánicas y del gobierno de los últimos tiempos del anticristo. Él buscaba por más poderes, decidió venir a la Escoan hace dos semanas para ver si realmente el profeta Tibilloso era un hombre de Dios y qué nivel de poder tenía. En el momento de la oración masiva, el Espíritu Santo expuso el caso de este joven y el enemigo quedó avergonzado, siendo el libre de todo espíritu de serpiente. Él aconseja a los jóvenes a tener muchísima precaución con Internet, ya que el anticristo se mueve a través de ese medio. Aconseja también a los padres a no adorar ídolos y a tener mucho cuidado con la educación que le dan a los hijos. Él viene a testificar para la gloria de Dios que es libre por el poder que hay en el nombre de Jesucristo. Béni soit le Seigneur, le témoignage de ce frère, c'est qu'il raconte que quand il était jeune, tout petit, à l'âge de 8 ans, il a eu une expérience avec une jeune fille qu'il a abusée sexuellement. Et à partir de ce moment, il a commencé à avoir des rêves étranges, à avoir des serpents, des pitons qui lui apparaissaient dans le rêve. Et il était poussé par un esprit d'obsession sexuelle auquel il pouvait résister. Et il allait au tel point qu'il voyait des serpents physiquement dans sa chambre. Et dit qu'il avait, ça va entraîner deux choses, ça va aller entraîner deux choses, il était en colère, il se battait avec les gens, quand il avait rencontre, une rancune contre quelqu'un, il attaquait cette personne dans le rêve. Donc il avait des pouvoirs surnaturels pour attaquer les gens dans l'esprit, dans les rêves. Il a dit que ça a été un point culminant en 2012, il a été admis à l'université en Afrique du Sud. Et là, il fit contact à une hiérarchie supérieure grâce à l'Internet. Il a commencé à faire des recherches sur Internet sur les esprits de l'Antichrist. Et cela l'a affecté d'une manière beaucoup plus dangereuse. Il a commencé à rejeter tout ce qui est de Dieu. Il a commencé à avoir des obsessions sexuelles plus grandes, plus fortes. Et il ne pouvait plus se contrôler. Et tout ce qui était de Dieu dans sa vie était parti. Donc c'est ainsi qu'il avait une obsession sexuelle terrible. Il rencontrait il avait des femmes, il couchait avec n'importe qui. S'il n'arrivait pas à satisfaire ce désir, il courait à la masturbation. Donc finalement, il est venu à la synagogue parce qu'il voulait la délivrance. Et quand il a eu rencontre avec l'homme de Dieu, il a dit qu'il a vu une lumière. Une lumière éclatante a pénétré son cœur et ne pouvait plus se contrôler. C'est ainsi que l'Esprit lui a dit qu'il était en lui, « Lève-toi, attaque le prophète, attaque-le. » Mais lorsqu'il a commencé à attaquer, la lumière de Dieu est sortie du prophète et l'a terrassée. Et le démon a été chassé à tout jamais. Et maintenant, sa vie est complètement changée. Il a dit de retour à son notaire, il a commencé à détruire, à enlever de son ordinateur toutes les photos diaboliques que vous voyez sur le tableau, qui étaient des points de contact avec les esprits mauvais. Ce qui montre qu'il a été libéré, qu'il est délivré, et maintenant il est réconcilié avec Dieu. Le conseil qu'il donne aujourd'hui, c'est de, lorsque vous allez sur Internet, allez sur Internet avec un but, un but qui est sain. Car si vous allez dans la mauvaise voie, cela va affecter votre vie, cela va même vous mettre en opposition avec votre famille et à rejeter même Dieu. Donc, il donne conseil aux parents de faire attention, de surveiller leurs enfants. Que lorsque leurs enfants se comportent mal, il ne suffit pas de les battre, mais il faut qu'ils cherchent la face de Dieu pour savoir quel est l'esprit qui est derrière cela. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Log on to our website, www.scoan.org. Go to the Visit Us page. And for those from within Nigeria, you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria, there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked. And after you've filled in the questionnaire, remember to click send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address. Info at scoan.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel, God with us.